I'm Ethan from GoBuilder, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through my process when selecting the right length belt for your application. So the big factors that indicate the um, length of belt that you need are the center distance, the size pulleys you've got, and the pitch of the belt. The pitch of a belt is just the distance between any two of its teeth. In this case, we're going to be working with 5mm pitch belts and the pulleys that go alongside that. So, with the Gobilla pattern, a lot of our belt lengths are going to be picked around the 24mm center to center distance between any of the repetitions of the Gobilla pattern, and most importantly, the 14mm holes here. This is a lot, of, a lot of times where you're using motion components, and we figured that was a pretty good um, round number to pick from. Now, you'll notice, if you're picking a belt length, it'll always have to be evenly divisible by the pitch of the belt. Otherwise, you'd end up with like half of a tooth and that doesn't really work out very well. But there are a lot of combinations of the 24 millimeter pattern that are not evenly divisible by five, which means a lot of the times you'll need to use something like a 3413 belt idler or another um, idler bushing or idler bearing with your five millimeter HDD belt in this application. Now there are some exceptions. Um, the 360 millimeter long belt with 24 tooth pulleys will work just fine and will evenly stretch out very nicely on the 14 mil holes on your build a channel. But most of them will be oversized by anywhere from three quarters to a quarter of one tooth. Um, in this case, that's somewhere between four and one millimeters. That means you'll have to soak up some tension, which we'll talk about in the next video. Now, when calculating what center distance you'll need to use, one-to-one -one ratios are always really easy because all you've got to do is take the center distance between your two pulleys, multiply that by two, and then divide it by the pitch of your belt. In this case, um, we'll use five millimeter pitch. Then you've just got to add the total number of teeth on one pulley. Um, that's because you've got 50% wrap on each pulley, so you've got half the teeth in contact or you've got the total on one pulley. This does only work with one-to-one -one ratios. Then, adding those two numbers together, you've got the total number of teeth in a belt you'll need. You can then multiply that by the pitch and you've got the total length in millimeters um, or whatever unit of measurement you decide to run that calculation in. You can also see the product pages for all of our belts and pulleys. We'll have some more information there. And if you're looking for a project outside of GoBuilda, SDPSI, Stock Drive Products, um, have a fantastic center distance designer calculator that I use all the time here in R&D. If you guys have any questions, you can always shoot us an email or at tech at gobuilda.com.